Today's video is for those looking for a super quick, super easy, super effective morning skincare routine. If you've seen my skincare routine, you'll know it's not short. <laughs> I love my products, I love this stuff, and a lot of the things in there, and I even say it in the routine itself, you don't need. You know, you don't need a toner if you have a cleanser that is soothing and balances your pH. You don't need an eye cream. You know, your products are designed to go all the way down, top to bottom, straight up underneath your eye and all the way down to the, you know what's. Um, and you really don't need an eye serum, but I'm sorry, I love these things. So I choose to put them into my routine because um, it, for me, the whole process is therapeutic. It's ritualistic. It's where I carve out my time for me. But at the end of the day, a lot of people, I've gotten quite a bit of feedback from people going, I don't want to do all that stuff. So what is a super easy but really effective routine that I can do every day? We're talking, you know, what are the five or six things I can do that helps me take care of my skin? Okay, so I have five things for you here today. Five. That's it. All you gotta do is five. And the first thing you need to do is cleanse. You need to cleanse your face every morning. Um, you know, we're sleeping on our hair, we're sleeping on, you know, the, the pillowcases, and even to ensure that we get some of the residual stuff from our evening skincare routine, which you better be doing, um, we need to do a quick, a quick cleanse. And you need a gentle cleanser, and it doesn't matter what skin type you have. Um, you need something that's simple, that's gentle, that's easy on the skin, uh, that's just going to take all the stuff off. Uh, a couple options here. One is CeraVe. This is a brilliant cleanser. This massive honking tube will last you for six months. It costs about 13 bucks. Um, you can get it at most drugstores. You can get it at Boots. You can get it at Walgreens, CVS, Target, whatever. You can get it everywhere. It's um, a brilliant, soothing uh, cleanser. It's got hyaluronic acid. It has um, ceramides in it. It's just good for your skin. Another option is Your Good Skin, which you can also get at Boots. Um, super soothing. Now it says hot cloth cleanser. Don't use hot water on your face. It's not good for your skin. If you take a really hot shower, don't do it in the shower. Just wait until you pop out. Um, do it at the sink. Make it quick. It doesn't have to take a long time. The second thing you need is an exfoliant. Um, our skin is constantly renewing. It's We lose thousands and thousands and thousands of skin cells every day, and it's constantly replenishing, and we need to reveal the, the healthy skin underneath. To do that, you have to get the dead skin off. Um, there are two that I would recommend. One is by The Ordinary, and it is a lactic acid, and the other is by Beauty Pie, which is a glycolic. Now, what I do is alternate these. I do one one day, I do one the other day. If you haven't used a chemical exfoliant before, I would suggest that you start slow and just enter it into your routine maybe every other day to see how um, your skin reacts to it but it shouldn't cause any irritation it should be gentle enough to just basically it breaks down the bonds in between the cells and gets rid of all the dead stuff um, another option are physical exfoliants a lot of people don't like to use them for sensitive skin it can be quite um, irritating so the next thing you need in your routine is a vitamin C um, it's not only good to eat it's good to put on your skin this is the most powerful thing you're going to do during the day for your morning skincare routine. Um, vitamin C um, is a powerhouse and it is there to even out your skin tone. It is there to brighten your skin, to lighten the skin, to remove all those age spots. Um, it's a brilliant product and a couple of different options. This one is, is by GOW, which is Garden of Wisdom. This thing costs 10 pounds. It's just an incredible product. Another option is by Beauty Pie and they come in these little capsules, which is wonderful because vitamin C is highly unstable. It doesn't like the sun it doesn't like the air so you need to make sure whatever form you're buying comes in an opaque packaging and is um, has no air like a pump is even good if you can't get this kind of um, this kind of format okay and then after vitamin C is our moisturizer um, this is a brilliant one by Sarah V you're gonna start to see that <laughs> around a lot um, this is listed as their PM um, it's just a very gentle uh, cleanser that has niacinamides it has ceramide in it it is so good for your skin it's incredibly light so even those that have sort of oily skin are not going to have any problem with this product it is easy to absorb um, super nourishing and just very light which is perfect for daytime use um, it does say PM on the pack because they do have an AM version that comes with an SPF 30. I think it's important to actually use different products if you can for your moisturizer and your, um, your sunscreen just to make sure that you are getting enough coverage. And that is the fifth one, which is your sunscreen. Uh, this is called Prem by Make. This is an SPF 50. You wanna go as high as you can and a 50 is ideal. Um, 
basically using any of these products or not using any of these products, you need to have an SPF in your arsenal. Um, it's there to protect your skin and our skin is a living organ. It is there. Its job is to protect us from all of the bad pollutants out in the, in the universe and also to really keep us um, protected from the sun. So you need a high SPF every single day. And if you're using some of these products, particularly your vitamin C, and your exfoliant, you are exposing your skin and you need to make sure that you're giving it more protect protection. Um, another one that I use almost every day is the Elta MD. It is a tinted moisturizer, um, so it gives a little bit of a color before I put on my makeup. The thing about SPF is you need to make sure you use enough. Do not rely on moisturizers that say that they have it because you have to be putting a lot on to make sure you get the coverage, and certainly the same for makeup. I hope you're not wearing enough makeup to actually get your SPF from it because you need at least half a teaspoon of this stuff for your face and half a teaspoon for your neck and your chest. So guys, that's it. Five steps you need every day to really good skin care and that's going to take care of your skin for a long time to come. So I hope that helps. I hope it gives you a good introduction into what your morning skincare routine can look like if you're trying to do it quickly. If you want more information about these particular type of products, go and check out my, uh, my full anti-aging skincare review. I will go into a lot more detail into what each of these things do for your skin. Um, and I hope you'll subscribe and I hope you like the video. And also tell me what stuff you're using. I'm always on the hunt and the lookout for new products and maybe you have something that I should be giving a try to. So please do leave some comments down below. We'll see you next time. Bye.